pocket. It was the school holidays. Mum was away on a basket weaving course. But we were all having a great time because guess who'd come to look after us? Bubbles the babysitter. This is a flamenco dancer from Spain. And today, Bubbles and Jemima were sorting through some of Jemima's dancing dolls. Oh, I love flamenco dancing. <laughs> Look, I dressed my old doll Peter up in this costume. Oh, very snazzy. That would suit me, that would. Of course it would, Grandpa. Give that to Grandpa. <laughs> Today, all the dancing dolls were going to be on display. Miss Smiley was holding a dance afternoon in a cafe. Oh, yes. Today, we had all been invited to... Miss Smiley's Dancing Tea. Very soon, Grandpa and I were watching Bubbles and Jemima practicing in the garden. OK, Spanish dancing time. I need you for this, Jason. Olé! <laughs> so Bubbles started to teach me to flamenco dance. A one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and Jemima joined in. And Grandpa joined in from his chair. And then Dad turned up. <laughs> and he joined in too. We were all having a great time and we're looking forward to getting Miss Smiley to dance too. But suddenly, what should we hear? Me! It's only me! <laughs> it was Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's sister. Oh, hello, Bubbles. Oh, are you practising for the dancing tea? <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> Arriba! Oh, ha-ha! That looks like flamingo dancing! Flamingo! <laughs> it's called flamingo. <laughs> Flamingo's fine. I'm good at flamingo dancing. <laughs> Great Honoretta started to dance, and she really did look like a flamingo. We tried very hard not to laugh, but it was no good. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> you dancing? Come on, let me have a go. Don't be so silly. You're far too old to do dancing. No, I'm not. Of course you are. You can come to me, Smiley's, and watch it. I don't want to watch. I want to join in. Well, you can't. So that's that. Oh, that's right. Go for a little lie down. Sulky socks. I ran inside after Grandpa. I knew he wasn't planning on a little lie down. If Loretta's going to Miss Smiley's dancing tea, she's going to try and take over and boss everybody about. And we've got to try and stop her, Jason. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks. He can get in my toy car and make it go. He can chuff about in our Sunny Sands train. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking cap. And no one else must see him. Meanwhile, back in the garden, Great Aunt Loretta was trying to do lime dancing. Jason, come on, we love we're doing lime dancing. Come on, Grandpa. We needed to get her out of the way. Luckily, Dad had an idea. Do you know what, Loretta? Are you? What? I fancy a waltz. Would Madame do me the honour? Oh! Madame Wood, thank you. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I'll sound lovely. Huh? The waltzing was going really well until. Oh! means he can't dance with me. Time to get going, everyone. We mustn't forget the dolls. At that moment, I saw Grandpa peeping out behind the toaster. Off you go, Jason. It was no good. I had to go. So we all got into Campo and off we went to Miss Smiley's cafe. And Great Aunt Loretta said, I hope Mr Whoops is there. He's very good at organising dancing, Mr Whoops is. And Bubbles said, I think he'll be looking after his shop, Loretta. <laughs> and Great Aunt Loretta said, Oh well, I'll have to organise everything then. That was exactly what Grandpa said would happen. I didn't know how he'd get to Miss Smiley's cafe, but I knew he'd find a way. And I was right. Oh. At Miss Smiley's cafe, Jemima and two of her friends were arranging the dolls, and Great Aunt Loretta was unarranging them. But Bubbles was keen to get on with the dancing. 
Just show me get on with the dancing. These aren't in the right place. And just when I thought Grandpa would never arrive, this is what happens. Luckily, everyone was far too busy to notice him. He quickly got off Gordon and hid behind the cake. And I quickly put Gordon in the doll's box. How's it going? Badly. She's interfering with all the dolls. Oh, this one's ridiculous. And Great Aunt Loretta grabbed Peter there. and put him in the box. I can't wait to see you dancing. <laughs> then Grandpa jumped in the box too. Right, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. At last, Great Aunt Loretta was ready to get going. Right. No, 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 we're starting with my line dancing. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Hand down, hand down, heel up, down, wave, back, 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 heel, back, 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 forward, heel, left, 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 heel, right, 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 heel, wave, wave, hip, hip, flasso. Come on, Jason, join in. So I had to join in. Grandpa needed an idea. I just hoped it would be a good one. Everybody had been too busy to notice Grandpa making his way to a shelf. He decided to dress up in Peter's costume. He started to rearrange the dolls. Soon, Grandpa had moved all the dolls about. I got it. He was hoping that Great Aunt Loretta would move them all back. And while she did, the girls could do their dance. Hey, excuse me. Those dolls have all moved. Who moved all these dolls? And this horrible one on the end. I put that in the basket. Maybe you should arrange them all again, Great Aunt Loretta, while the girls do their dance. I will do no such thing. I want to know who did it. Who was it, eh? Who moved all the dolls? Come on, own up. Grandpa's plan hadn't worked. He signalled to me to go into the kitchen. Then he jumped off the shelf and ran. Miss Smiley decided it was time for tea. There's nothing like some nice cakes and sandwiches to perk everyone up. I'll help you with the plates, Miss Smiley. Thank you, Jason. We've got to find someone for Loretta to dance with. Dad's no good, she's already trodden on him. I know, Mr. Whoops. Great idea. I'll phone him. But just then, Great Aunt Loretta called. Jason, bring the plates or we'll never have any cake. Over to you, Grandpa. So I grabbed the plates and left Grandpa to talk to Mr. Whoops. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Whoops here. Hello, Mr. Whoops. It's Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa. What can I do for you? Well, it's what you can do for Loretta, really. She's looking for a dancing partner, and there's nothing more she'd like than to dance with you. And luckily, there was nothing Mr. Whoops would like more than to dance with Great Aunt Loretta. And by the time everyone had finished their tea, he'd arrived. Whoops! <laughs> and in no time, Great Aunt Loretta and Mr. Whoops were dancing a tango. Grandpa joined in. Mr. Whoops had warned Great Aunt Loretta out, it was the girls' turn. And Mr. Whoops joined in. And Grandpa couldn't resist joining in too. Oh, I'm sure I just saw it did it that doll. Oh, keep going, Bubbles. Oh, it did it again. Oh, everything dances at Miss Smiley's dancing tea. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> this time, Grandpa had gone too far. He had joined in enough. 
I had to hide him. <laughs> the good news was that Grandpa was in the teapot. The bad news was he was still dancing. You sound right, Mr Whoops. Everything's dancing at Miss Smiley's dancing tea, even the teapot. Look! <laughs> After the dancing tea, I put Grandpa back into the doll's box where he could change into his own clothes. And I brought him home. I ran ahead of everyone else. I took him out of the box. He whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Well, Jason, did we stop Loretta spoiling the dancing tea? We did, Grandpa. I thought as much. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. Ooh, Grandpa, you don't know what you missed. Oh, don't I? You should have come and watched and not been such a sulky socks. I wouldn't have watched. I'd have joined in. Hold down, hold down, step up down wave <laughs> back to free step 